Hello everyone, I'm Shane Andrews, the voice of the Super Dirt Car Series. Many of you are experiencing the adrenaline rush of a Big Block Modified for the first time, as the Big Block and 358 Modifieds are now available on the iRacing platform. The first Schaefer 100 at the New York State Fairgrounds was announced in 1972, and a brand new era in dirt racing was underway. To promote the inaugural World Series of Dirt Track Racing event at the historic Syracuse Mile, a series of qualifying races to guarantee starting bursts for the autumn event was created. Today, the same tour is recognized in motorsports arenas everywhere as the Super Dirt Car Series. Yet it now runs from spring to fall and determines the best big block modified team in the Northeast. A Super Dirt Car Series Big Block Modified is a purpose-built open-wheel race car, which must weigh at least 2,500 pounds with the driver in the car. The maximum 470 cubic inch engine is fueled by racing gasoline and produces roughly 850 horsepower. Series competitor and iRacer himself, Jimmy Phelps, says they are similar to another popular dirt racing machine. Similar to a sprint car in, in regards to the fact that it's a center steer car, the driver sits in the middle, straddles the drive shaft, the engine's right in front of you. Um, there's a little bit of offset, you know, a lot of body, a lot of power, and you know, the, the between the, uh, relies heavily on suspension, you know, to create grip uh, without, without a wing on the top. So um, I think they're a different animal than anything you see in the country, to be honest. The big block Chevrolet engine loaded into the front end of these race cars poses quite the challenge for the drivers that strap into them. Well, you know, in today's day and age, you know, a, a big block Chevrolet engine um, is kind of a dinosaur. So, um, you know, there's a lot of explaining to in itself, but in, in the racing world, it's, it's you know, they're, they're, they're big power, uh, they're big cubic inch, they're, they're heavy. Um, you know, the weight of them is probably as big of um, side effect as the overall power as far as getting them around the racetrack and getting them hooked up so it definitely creates a it definitely creates some challenges as you evolve from class to class and and get you know that bigger power and weight mass in front of you. Speaking of evolving from class to class the dirt car 358 small block modified is also available now on iRacing. An identical looking car to the super dirt car series big block modified the difference lies underneath the hood. Carrying a 358 maximum cubic inch small block engine, producing about 580 horsepower. The 358s provide a great stepping stone into big block competition. As far as the, the, the weight of the big block engine and the power of the big block engine, um, it, that creates a whole different feel as far as the drivability of the car. Um, so the nice part about our situation is they really can take the same car and you know let it evolve as they you know go up in engine displacement and size and cubic inch. Um, it gives the driver the ability to you know, really learn the fundamentals of the race car. And then obviously as a driver, they got to just kind of adapt to each each phase of, of power and weight. You can find the Super Dirt Car Series and the 358 Modifieds competing at dirt tracks across the Northeast United States and Canada. Though they have a history as several of the dirt tracks you can race them on within iRacing. Trips each February bring the Super Dirt Car Series to Florida's Volusia Speedway Park for the annual Dirt Car Nationals. Ohio's Eldora Speedway has hosted six big block races with the latest taking place in July of 2019. The legendary Williams Grove Speedway has seen four Super Dirt Car Series events with the most recent occurring on June 22, 2016. And on the western side of Pennsylvania, Lernerville Speedway has played host to three Super Dirt Car Series events. But without question, the track that the Modifieds find themselves most at home is New York's Sports Speedway. Having held just over 60 Super Dirt Car Series events dating back to July of 1980, the Port is the home track for the big blocks within the iRacing service. Be on the lookout for series stars on the service like the Baldwinsville Bandit, Jimmy Phelps, Lightning, Larry White, the Heil driver, Chris Heil, and Mad Max McLaughlin and five-time Napa Super Dirt League champion Stuart Friesen, whose car was scanned for the simulator. We hope this video has helped give you a little more insight into the Super Dirt Car Series as you make your first laps in a big block modified on iRacing. 
You can find us online at superdirtcarseries.com and on Twitter and Facebook. Now go have fun and enjoy the ground-pounding, earth-shaking, window-rattling beast of the Northeast. We'll see you at the races.